Example 113, a nationwide poll of nearly 1,500 people conducted by the syndicated cable television show Dateline USA found that 70% of those surveyed believe there is intelligent life outside of Earth in the universe, perhaps even in our own Milky Way galaxy. What proportion of the entire population agrees at the 95% confidence level? All right, so let's talk about how we know what kind of problem this is. When I see this phrase 95% confidence level, automatically I think of a confidence interval, of course, right? question is, is it a confidence interval for the mean or for the proportion? Well, just above we see the word proportion, right? What, a por what proportion of the entire population agrees, right? And they're talking about 70%. So those are all very strong clues that this is a confidence interval for the proportion. All right, however, in my experience, I've noticed that some students still miss the fact that it's a confidence interval for the proportion, and then they will set out to solve the problem using the method for finding the confidence interval for a mean. If you do that, you're going to realize along the way that there's no standard deviation in the problem, right? So we're not going to have sigma and we're not going to have s. Neither one of those things will be given. So there's not going to be a mention of a standard deviation. That's a dead giveaway that it's also a proportion, right? So one way or the other, you should realize that it's a proportion problem. And then from there, we'll follow the four steps that I've given here above. Kind of the same four steps we used when we did the confidence interval for the mean. So let's talk about step one then. Step one is to just write down all the information. We generally want to have an n in the problem, we'll have a p hat quantity in the problem, we'll have a q hat quantity in the problem, we'll have a confidence level, and we will have an alpha. n in the problem is going to be, in this case, 1500, right? Because 1500 people were surveyed, so I'm going to say 1500 for n. The p hat is the sample proportion, right? So in this study of 1500 people, some percent of them felt you know that there were alien life there's alien life in the universe so it says here 70 percent of those surveyed believe there's intelligent life so we're going to say 0 0.70 right that's 70 percent for the proportion who believe in aliens the q is going to be the complement of p hat so q hat is what's left over from 100 percent when you subtract away p hat so if 70 percent of these people believed in aliens the remaining 30 percent must not believe right the confidence level is 0.95. The alpha, as a result, is 0 0.05. All right, so that's your step one. Step one is kind of important because that's the numbers or the data that we need to put into our formula. So if you do that incorrectly, you have nowhere to go from there but down, right? All right, so let's take the next part of the problem to get the z alpha divided by 2 value. In these problems, it will always be z alpha divided by 2 because we're always going to have a very large sample size. It will certainly exceed 30, but also we're using a method that's designed to approximate the binomial distribution by the normal distribution. So we need z alpha divided by 2 because we're working with the bell curve. All right, so either way, with 95% confidence, z alpha divided by 2 is found by going to the t-table, looking up half of alpha, all the way down to the bottom where we keep the z values on the t-table. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we had 95% confidence, which leads to 5% alpha. Remember, if we're looking for z alpha divided by 2, we have to divide that alpha by 2. So 5% alpha divided in half is going to give you a value of 0 0.025. And then from there, we're going to scroll down to the bottom since we're looking for a z-score. So the very last entry in that column is going to be our answer. So scroll all the way down to the bottom until we see our answer is 1.960. 1.960. Okay, so we found that our z alpha divided by 2 value was 1.96, right? 1.96. Let's go to step 3. In step 3, we want to fill in the margin of error. The margin of error is simply e equals 2 z alpha divided by 2, and you're going to have the square root after that. The square root is p hat times q hat over n. Now all of that is under the square root, so be careful with that. All right, from there, we're going to fill in what we know. 1.96, right? The square root of, we have all these quantities. 0.7 for p hat times 0.3 for q hat divided by n, which is 1,500. All right, so let's take our calculator out and perform that calculation. So we're going to have 1.96 times the square root of 0.7 
times 0.3 divided by 1500. Close up the square root, hit enter, and you have your answer, 0 0.02319, etc. So we'll say 0 0.02319 dot dot dot, right? On and on and on. So I'll store that in my calculator. And then from there, we're going to take that value and add and subtract it to our sample proportion. So this is very familiar from what we've done before in the past. Let's do this step up here. So we'll say that we're looking at p hat minus e p hat plus e. And we're going to go ahead and add them together now. The p hat is 0 0.7. The e here is 0 0.0232, let's say, just to round off. 0.7 plus 0 0.0232 and then we'll do the remaining work so 0.7 minus that error and the same thing but plus the error all right so we get a, a total range of 0 0.677 up to 0 0.723 all right now we always finish this with the same classic statement. We are, in this case, 95% confident, right? The true, what's this problem about? It's about a proportion, right? True proportion, right? You can say the true proportion of people who believe in aliens, but we can just leave it as true proportion because the person can come over here and just look at the paragraph here and see what the problem was about if they want to. But we are 95% confident the true proportion is between. And the answer is, of course, 0.677 and 0.723. So as percents, that would be 67.7% and 72.3%. And that's it. That's how you form a confidence interval for the proportion.